and welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. It's been a while, but I'm glad to be back in style here on YouTube. First, welcoming my Dark Cosmic family out there. So if you are subscribed to the channel, you are part of that Dark Cosmic family. To my Cosmic Cosmonauts, to my Cosmic Comrades, to my insane toy collectors out there, to my Dark Cosmic Pokemon card collectors, welcome. Hey, let's see what we got. We got a package over here. Hope you guys are excited as I'm excited because it's another four inch figure. I'm gonna say three and three, well, no, he's probably bigger than three and three quarter inch. As you can tell on the thumbnail, you can guess who it is. It is the Phantom. Now again, the Phantom to me is iconic even as a child. And to have this character in four inch fig, you know, four inch um, line, you know, that four inch scale, that 118 scale, I just had to have it. And as I'm collecting, all these cool retro looking style characters and modern looking characters. I was like, you know what? I don't have the Phantom. So just some information uh, about the Phantom. It started off as an American comic strip, which was published by Lee Falk in February of 1936. The main character of the Phantom is a fictional costume crime fighter who operates from the fictional African country of Bengalia. And again, the character has been adopted for television, film, and video games. Also, cartoons as well. So, let's get into this. We'll open this up here. I was really excited. I got to talk with the person. Um, I got this from Florida. Uh, again, another eBay purchase, which is pretty awesome. I'm really happy that they put this um, cardboard in here because I think I'm going to start using this when I do um, focusing um, with the camera over here. So, hopefully, it will do it. I hope that's what it is. All right, so here it is. Really great packaging here. So I'm going to move the box. And again, I did have to look at it first because I did want to make sure that everything was okay with it. Um, package, very awesome. So I'm pretty excited about it. So out of the package, here it is. It is a Heroes Hacks. Now this is from a company. It's called uh, Boss Fight Studio. I actually met uh, some of the creators. Oh my, it was probably about four or five years ago at a convention. And this was way before they actually, um, that I knew this was going to happen. But let's take a look at the back here. Very, very cool. So we've got the Phantom. It is the ghost who walks to the left over here. Uh, we've got uh, Julie uh, Walker as the Phantom also. All right, let's see what else we have here. So here is, if you want to pause the video and you'd like to learn more about uh, Kit Walker... Uh, and uh, who the Phantom is, uh, you know, definitely check it out. Always go online. You know, you can look at some stuff. I remember as a kid, and I can't remember, it was the Phantom 20, I don't think it was like 2040 something. Uh, and that was, again, between him, Flash Gordon, uh, you know, showing up in the Flash Gordon series. Here's the card art. Very cool. I'm pretty impressed with this. And again, it is the Phantom. And I thought it'd be look. I thought it looked really cool with the rest of these characters. And I'm pretty sure where I'm going with this, he is going to look really awesome. So let's take a look at the figure before we uh, take him out of the package. Very, very cool. I wonder if the ring's on there. That would be cool if that was um, put in there. So he's got some weapons. He's got a sword, the swashbuckling sword. Uh, he's got a set of extra hands. We will open this up. I'm pretty excited. And again, um, for my Monster Force figures, he's going in there. Because why not? Can't you call the, the Phantom up to help you out here? Well, if you know how to get a hold of the Phantom, of course, is you'll be able to get a hold of him. And again, here's the figure. We're going to pop him out here. I'm not sure if he's got any plastics in here. Uh, again, something just popped out. And that was, I don't know what that was. Oh, it's one of the guns. So one of his weapons. Pretty cool. Very cool. Got the old silver. I wonder if he's got, he does have holsters. That's what I thought. All right, so I'll see if we can pop this out. And again, this is a, oh, a double backing. So here we go. So Hero Hex. Very cool. And again, Boss Fight um, Studio. I actually have a few figures. If you saw some of my previous um, videos, I actually wound up uh, featuring um, some of the zombies. And those were Boss Fight Studios. These are really cool. And again, it's got this part where you can pop the hands in and out. So he's got the punch hands over here. So you can go punch someone or just, you know, get the fist bump. Either or. So I'm going to take out both of the weapons over here. 
And he's got this cool swashbuckling sword. Love it. Uh, we'll take a look at just some of the accessories here. So here we go. Oh, see, the camera's behaving today. Very good. That's kind of cool that they put that in there. Again, I wasn't expecting it. But again, all these little extra accessories. It's the little touches that these companies, when they do it, you're like, oh, I can really appreciate it. And now more than ever, I'm pretty excited. And again, thank you to the um, person who wound up selling, it to, selling this on eBay to me. Um, not realizing, he probably did realize, how excited I was to have this in my collection. I'm taking a look. Is that... Is that a... That is a ring. Oh, gosh. They've got the ring. They, let's check this out. Talk about attention. Here we go. Attention to detail. There it is. There is. Oh, my gosh. It's actually on there. It's, he's got the ring. That's cool. That is really cool. And again, if you are a fan of attention to detail or a fan of um, the comic strips... Um, definitely. Now, again, I got to be very careful because, again, the more joints that they have, um, the more possibilities of breakage. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to try to get the arms up very slowly here. Um, I did not heat these joints up. So this is called buyer beware. Enter at your own risk here. I will try to heat up some of the joints. And these should go right in the holster. If I can do this correctly. And again, hope you guys are having fun watching these videos. And you know what I forgot to say? I will say it now. Thank you guys so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We have reached over 600 subscribers who have backed the channel. Thank you guys so much. That just puts some big happiness in my, uh, you know, on my face here in the cosmic, the dark cosmic universe. Seisha, where are you? Uh, she's not around here. I'll have to do a video with her doing 600. Let's check out the figure here. Now, of course, the camera is behaving. Put it around the, we'll put on a, uh, the white backer here. And let's see if we can get this. Very cool. This is really awesome. Again, the attention to detail on the belt, as you guys can see. Yeah, there it is. There's the skull on the belt. That's excellent. And then again, as I showed over here, let's see if it goes. Can you, we had to focus in earlier. Come on, can we focus, focus, focus? There is a skull ring, so a phantom ring that he comes with. Well, it doesn't come off. Again, it, it was molded in. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh. So we got the hands here. He's ready to use his accessories. Very, very cool. So, again, the articulation, I'll be very uh, brief about it. I think this is a ball joint. Yes, it is. It's a ball joint. But, again, very cool. I love the purple. I like the blue, how it shines. Uh, you know, it's, it's that matte, it's almost like a matte finish, actually. But because I've got the lighting on here, um, you can definitely, you know, it's got a little glare going on. And then we got the uh, the double, or the, the knee joints over here. I think what they call them, those double rockers or something like that. Um, he's got joints here in the boots. Very, very cool. So very super poseable. Uh, and again, lots of, you know, uh, here we go. Lots of articulation. I'm trying not to, I don't want to go too much with it uh but you got uh, in the elbows here we've got it's a little stiff over here so i'm going to be very very careful trying to wiggle this out i don't want it to bust because i know my uh in my uh field here or my part of the dark cosmic universe it's going to bust wow really really cool again the very muscular like spandex um kind of outfit and maybe it's not spandex. Maybe it's just like molded for that. Even, oh my gosh, I was just noticing the attention to the detail on the boots. You know what? I got to say, Boss Fight Studio, you guys, oh, definitely pulled it out of the park here. And again, that whole retro um, style for him looks really, really cool. Um, I, I can't complain. Yeah, an alternate head would have been great, but you know what? Um, I want the Phantom as is. He's got the mask. You know, he's looking at you. He's just giving you the grimace look. And he would be great with the, uh, was it the Grim team? Was it, is that what it is? I got to remember, um, with, uh, with Eagle Force, they've got the, you know, uh, Adrian Grimm over here. I definitely think it'll look cool. So anyway, I'm going to put him over here next to 
the characters here. Oh, you know what? I just what I wanted to do. Hold on. So again, you got the clock here. You got that whole uh, 1920s, 1930s look. Put him next to the Phantom. And again, they look like they just stepped off of the comic strips and into a uh, superhero uh, kingdom here. I like it. Very, very cool. Again, if you do not have this figure, I would definitely highly recommend. I'm going to show what these figures look like all together. I'm going to put over uh, Draconis over here. And we'll put him here. And you'll see how they scale up. Oh, you know what? That's right. I forgot. How tall is the figure? My bad. I got all excited here talking about the 600, you know. And uh, very excited about that. And again, thank you everyone for, you know, doing the subscription. You know, just being subscribed to the channel. I don't, I don't need anything beyond that. Again, I do have a... Uh, I got an eBay page uh, where I do sell vintage and retro style t-shirts, which is really cool. And again, so here's the accessory. Uh, he does have a stand. I'm not going to put him on the stand. I'm just going to move that out of the way. And the best part is to have him in his glory, hanging next to the rest of the figures who are four inch. Oh, and if you've all those also noticed my little display for the characters, the merge cubes. I purchased some purchased some more merge cubes because I kept getting more and more and more and more figures. So I wound up getting, actually I found one at a vintage, uh, at a, sorry, um, at the Goodwill. I found one of these at the Goodwill. I'm like, oh, that's what I need. I need for the to display these characters here up on the Dark Cosmic Universe. I think they look really, really cool. Um, again, you know, if you take a look at the modern looking characters like uh snake over here and i'm going to call him snake uh you got um the bullet man himself uh, you know they call him something totally different but that's bullet man gi joe uh agent grim you got the phantom draconis claw you got the henchman they look really great together that's again that's my humble opinion on here uh very cool looking figure uh, I'm definitely going to stick with it. And again, yeah, these are going to like display really, really well. If you have this figure, please leave uh, messages in the comments. Hey, you've got the figure. What do you think about it? Um, just like that. Things are falling over here in the Dark Cosmic Universe. And you know what? I didn't have Seashell to blame this time. She's upstairs going, yeah, you're on your own, buddy. Because that's what happens here. Anyway, so that's it. That's the figure that I wanted to add to the collection. Um, it'll be part of my Monster Force. Why not? Because imagination is all part of, you know, when you collect and whatnot. And that's what it should be. At least I think so. So I'm going to be taking the hands and I'm going to be putting them. Again, what I do is I've got the little baggies here. So they've got all the stuff. And if you've not seen any of my videos, here's the baggie. I'm going to put the hands in there. And if you're looking for baggies uh, for your accessories, um, for your figures, uh, go to your local Walmart. Uh, and if you go to where the Ziploc stuff is, um, again, this is what I use. These are the little snack bags and they do their job. And again, oops, sorry, see, like I do, I move things here. So I'm gonna take the hands, I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna put the sword in here so it doesn't get lost and then when i put them into my case uh they'll definitely you know all the stuff will be all together and then just zip it up and your lost accessories won't be lost at least you'll have a idea where they all go that's it that's in the video thank you guys so much there will be more stuff coming oh that's why i totally forgot a little preview of things to come We've got some Pokemon openings up. That's There's something in this envelope here, which I will be opening up. And got some sneak peeks of things that I did find. So I've got some cards I'll be showing off. That was Pikachu. So very cool. So excited about that. Um, got picked up those. And we'll go through a review on that. Uh, what I picked up. And then also I got those cards to open up as well for the channel so coming up so for the people who watch my videos for uh the pokemon card openings um that will be coming up soon again i just kind of wanted to give everyone a little uh breather for me doing all the 
you know, opening up. And I mean, if you, that's what you guys want to look for on this channel, please just find all the videos for that. Don't forget to check out all my shorts. Don't forget to check all the videos that are out there. Thanks again for guys for reaching that 600 mark. I am so excited. Thank you so much, guys, for your help. And I hope you guys enjoy this. What video, uh, uh, what figures are you collecting uh, in your collection? Are you collecting four inch figures like me? What do you collect? Six inch, the seven inch, the eight figure, eight inch figures? Let me know. There's also 12 inch figures too. Whatever, you know, whatever you're collecting, let me know. Let's have a conversation here. And again, thank you guys for leaving comments in the description. I so appreciate that. That's it. That's the end of the video. Adding to our collection we've got the ever popular the phantom figure don't forget guys i'd appreciate a nice thumbs up to these videos that also helps the algorithm but more important if you guys can send put comments in there it boosts us up here it gets us promoted here on youtube so we can reach other collectors that are out there who are looking for some videos about that i so appreciate that that'd be cool all right, guys, it, that's it. That's the end of the video. My name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. Welcome to my world. Welcome to our world, our, our world that we're building here together, here on the Atubosphere, better known as YouTube. To my Dark Cosmic family out there, to my Cosmic Cosmonauts, to my Cosmic Comrades, to my insane toy collectors out there, to my Dark Cosmic Pokemon collectors who are collecting those wicked awesome cards. What do I say? Say it loud and proud. All together. Stay cosmically insane, my friends. Keep collecting those action figures and collectible cards. And we will see you soon here on the Atubosphere, better known as YouTube. I'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching this latest and greatest video.